This video is your step-by-step -step blueprint for how to level up from IT support or desktop tech to full-blown systems administrator. But this isn't just a checklist of tools and certifications because the truth is most people never make the jump. Not because they don't learn enough, but because they don't think differently. This transformation is just as much about psychology, soft skills, and leadership as it is about PowerShell or networking. So if you've been stuck in tier one, hoping someone notices your hard work, then buckle up because I'm about to hand you the roadmap that most IT professionals never get access to. Let's start with one of the most overlooked yet most powerful skills in your entire toolkit, and that is automation. Listen, if you're still doing everything manually, like resetting passwords one by one, onboarding users through a checklist, then you're not working like an admin. You're working like a robot, and robots get replaced. All the sysadmins automate, they write PowerShell scripts to do in three seconds what used to take 30 minutes. They schedule recurring tasks, build tools that scale, and eliminate the boring, error-prone parts of their day. So where do you start? Hey, sorry for interrupting your video, but I wanted to know, are you interested in building a career in ethical hacking? We created Learn Ethical Hacking from Scratch course just for you, and it's the perfect way to get started. In this course, you will learn how ethical hackers find vulnerabilities in your system, networks, and applications. You will learn hands-on skills like penetration testing, exploiting the weakness in a system, and all the tools that hackers use. You will also learn how to stay on the right side of the law. Cybersecurity is one of the fastest growing industries in the world and hackers are high in demand. The global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $400 billion by 2028. There's never been a better time for you to jump in. Ethical hackers earn from 90,000 US dollars to 120,000 US dollars annually. Experts in this field make even more. So are you ready to kickstart your journey into ethical hacking? This course is your key to mastering hacking. We have placed the link to this course in the description. Enroll today and get started on a lucrative career path. Now back to the video. If you're in a Windows environment, master PowerShell. Learn how to bulk create user accounts, run system health checks, and audit Active Directory. If you're managing Linux systems, get comfortable with bash scripting. And if you want to go pro, learn Python. Because Python works cross-platform and opens the door to automation at scale. Then level up with Ansible, Puppet, or Chef. These tools are the ones that let you manage hundreds of servers with a single command. But that's just the tech side. The real shift is internal. And that's what we are tackling next. Here's the single most important difference between IT support and systems administration. And that is support techs react sys admins design if you're always solving the same tickets like printers offline user can't log in email not syncing you know these are the things that's not your job anymore as an admin your goal is to make sure those tickets never happen again that's a mindset shift from reactive to proactive you stop thinking in terms of symptoms and start thinking in terms of root causes. Start asking yourself, how can I fix this once for everyone forever? That's how real admins operate. They solve problems at the infrastructure level 
And when you think this way, you instantly separate yourself from 90% of your peers. You're no longer a support tech, you are an engineer. Still with me? Good. Because the next part is the most people freeze. And if you don't get this right, you will never earn trust from your team. Let's talk about infrastructure mastery. Because if you don't deeply understand the tools under the hood, you can't be trusted to maintain the system. This goes beyond knowing Windows 10. You need to master Windows Server, including DNS, DHCP, and group policy objects. You should understand how to deploy roles, audit policies, and manage forests, domains, and organizational units. If your environment uses Active Directory, and let's face it, most do, you should be configuring security groups, designing OUs, or managing service accounts with precision. Why? Because the moment you get promoted, Tier 1 and Tier 2 support will escalate every tricky issue to you, and you're expected to solve it fast. Same goes for networking. You should understand IP addressing, subnetting, DNS resolution, and be able to troubleshoot routers, switches, and VLANs, especially if you're working in a hybrid or on-prem network. You're no longer just fixing computers. You're now responsible for entire infrastructures. But what good is an infrastructure if it's not secure? This brings us to security, and I don't just mean anti-virus software. As a system admin, you are the front line of defense against cyber threats. That means managing patching cycles with precision, implementing access control policies, deploying MFA, and staying ahead of zero-day exploits. You'll need to design user policies that prevent privilege escalation, creating auditing rules, monitor event logs, and most importantly, prepare for a disaster. Because if something goes wrong, and it will, it's your plan that brings the business back online. You must understand backup and disaster recovery. Use tools like Windows Server Backup, VM, or ComVault to run regular snapshots. Learn how to schedule, monitor, and test those backups. Understand how to restore individual files or entire systems. And don't forget to build your DR plan. What happens if the primary domain controller dies? What if ransomware encrypts your file share? When disaster strikes, you are the one who is calm in the storm. But even the most secure systems are only as strong as their storage layer. As a system administrator, you are expected to manage data across multiple tiers of performance, reliability, and cost. That means understanding how to provision, configure, and monitor storage systems, whether it's local drives, SAN arrays, or network-attached NAS devices. Can you replace a failed RAID 5 disk without downtime? Can you allocate ISCSI storage to a VM cluster without bottlenecks? These are not theoretical questions. They are real-world fires you will be expected to put out. And tools like NetApp, Dell EMC, Synology, or even Windows Storage Spaces might be part of your stack. You'll need to ensure uptime, plan for growth, monitor capacity, and understand how storage ties into backups performance and disaster recovery. And when the server grinds to a halt at 3 a.m. because the logs filled the partition, they won't call tier one, they'll call you. But let's zoom out for a second, because in modern IT, the landscape is changing fast. The companies that stay agile are going virtual and moving to the cloud. If you want to stay relevant or get hired at a better paying companies, you must understand virtualization and cloud platforms. Learn how to build and manage virtual machines using Hyper-V, VMware, or Proxmox. Then expand to cloud providers like AWS, Azure, or Google Cloud. 
you don't need to be an expert on everything but you should understand ec2 instances s3 buckets im policies and basic cloud networking even just being able to talk the talk in meetings gives you credibility and if your company ever migrates services to the cloud guess who they will turn to for help you now all of this sounds technical and it is but here's the truth no one tells you tech skills get you the job soft skills get you promoted as a system admin your job isn't just to build it's to lead you'll be mentoring junior techs writing documentation um, working with cybersecurity, networking and even executives that means you need to speak clearly think strategically and manage your time under pressure want a cheat code start thinking in projects don't just memorize commands build something create a script that automates user onboarding deploy a mini active directory lab at home or build a backup system that runs overnight and sends log to your inbox try deploying a vm cluster and simulate a failover these are the kinds of projects you can show on your resume discuss it in interviews and even post on LinkedIn to stand out. Want to be unforgettable? Build a portfolio that screens I already think like a sysadmin. And here's the part you didn't expect. The biggest difference between staying stuck and getting promoted, it's, it's not technical, it's psychological. You must start seeing yourself not as someone who executes tasks, but as someone who takes ownership. That's the fastest way to become irreplaceable. The journey isn't just about learning a few new tools. It's about becoming a strategic operator inside your company. The person people escalate to, the person people trust, the person people depend on when the system is crashing and no one knows what to do. Most people in support roles wait for someone to recognize them. But those who rise, they build skills that scale. They design systems, they lead others, and they take their future into their own hands. You don't need to wait for permission. You just need to start right now. If this video helped shift your mindset or gave you a clear path to level up, Hit the like button so YouTube shows it to more future sysadmins. Got questions? Drop them in the comments and I'm here to help. And if you are serious about building your IT career faster, subscribe and tap the bell icon so you never miss a strategy, skill or mindset shift that could land you your next role.